This is how much the road to boat culture means to me. It's more than just football. It's in all four areas of your life, academically, athletically, socially, and spiritually. Having accountability, knowing that if I'm supposed to be somewhere, I'll be there. Knowing that if my teammate has to be somewhere, they will be there. The roll the boat culture to me, it's not only just a never give up mantra, but to me it means a lot about failing equals growth. And if you're not failing every day, then you're not changing your best. Throughout this journey, you're gonna fail a lot. You're gonna fall down, you gotta get back up. You gotta work harder to be the best you could be, even if you fail. It doesn't mean give up, it just means go harder the next time and learn from your mistakes. Uh, slogan we go by, it's called uh, neck time mentality. We, uh, we use that, it's like you're attacking life and you attack life to the best of your ability and you go hard at life every single day. No matter what comes to you, you gotta have a neck time mentality to be able to fight through everything and overcome all the adversity that, that comes your way in life. The hyper process, honestly I think about it, is it how yours, process, result, response. And those things can be applicable to anything. When you think about your how, how you go about doing things, and I can use that as a football standpoint, and I use the hyper process. If I want to get better at football, I would have to change what I'm doing, and I have to be better at what I'm doing. If I do the same thing over and over and over again, I can never get better. So honestly, when I do the hyper process and I go about it, I have to change what I'm doing, and that's a process. And then after that, I get a result. And when I get the result, what I do with that, is what, what's going to be my response. And my response can either be positive or negative, because if I get a result of being negative, that means I need to change my ways. But if I get a positive result, that means I'm doing something right and I may continue down that path. And it's more applicable than just football. I can use it in my social life and my relationships with people. Being in this program uh, has definitely helped me grow up to be the person I want to be. And um, it's just guided me throughout my journey. Uh, being here for a year, I've definitely I felt like I've grown in a, a lot of places, football-wise and academically, and just being a person in general. A big reason I chose Minnesota is because of the family atmosphere. Forget about me, I love you means a lot to me. You, you know, you have teammates all around you that lives by that, and uh, if I'm going through something and they can see it, they always try to lift me up. Family is huge to me, family is everything, and I feel like now that I'm here and I'm on the team and we've integrated well, that we actually are family. Knowing that it's family, knowing that they have your back, makes you go so much further for a person. Forget about me, I love you. It's definitely a family culture in here. So the thing that makes the University of Minnesota's culture different than other schools is that the coaches truly care about you off the field just as much as they do about you on the field, whether it's academically, socially, spiritually, they want you to excel off the field just as well as they do on the field. But like every day I wake up, it pushes me to be the best person I can be every single day. You take on more responsibilities, not just football-wise, class-wise, and when your coach is so involved with the academics, then it makes you more involved too because you have a feeling that everyone cares about everything you're doing. When you come to the University of Minnesota, when you become part of this culture, it affects your whole life. You have to be elite in all four areas, not just football. You can't be elite in just one. You have to work to be elite in all four areas of your life. So it's more than just football. Um, and that's what is amazing about this place, about the University of Minnesota, about this culture.